everybody. Welcome back to Lori's Boston Found, where thrifted is the new black. My name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. I dabble a little bit in Amazon these days. Today I have a really fantastic Goodwill Outlet bins haul for you and my home shop, my home place where I always go to, which is the New Hampshire outlets. Boston has been closed since the pandemic. I'm not sure when they're opening back up. I miss them terribly. But the great news about New Hampshire is that they are back to the good old days. I don't know for how long, but I am riding the wave and really enjoying the fact that you do not have to leave in between rotations. Uh, you do not have to get a number. You can show up at any point. They have limited their hours. Um, I think they're open from eight to five every day because they're a little bit understaffed but it was just such a great day. So for those of you who may not be familiar, the Goodwill outlet or the bins is a place where you can buy stuff by the pound. So at my particular Goodwill outlet location, it's $1.49 per pound for textiles. On this particular day, I was with my girlfriend, Kim, who seems to be like my good luck charm these days. And we were inside for, I think we went like almost three hours for the first round. Then we took a break, uh, went, got some lunch, um, and then we went back for a second rotation. They do set things up a little differently now. It used to be that people would go around particular bins as they would roll them out and just like wait in an area for the bins to roll out. Now they really divide the location in half and they bring out a bunch of bins that are all on say the left side of the area where you shop and everybody waits behind a line and they literally do like a countdown, like ready, set, go. When I went back a second time, um, I got less stuff, but I still found some really great things. And in total, I got just over 50 pounds. So the first time I got like 38 pounds and the second time I got like 12 pounds and I spent just around $80 and I got 55 items. My average cost of goods I put here, it was about $1.44. Enjoy the footage, we'll come back for the haul and. I will be sure to put timestamps below. So if you wanna just skip to the haul, it will be in the description below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you're having a good time at any point and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me. All right, I'll be back soon. I decided to share with you today things I left behind and I think this was a bit of a mess. This is a Papillion, kind of Birkenstock style sandal. Um, they were pretty worn so I left them behind but comps on those are still really great. If I could do it again, I'd probably bring those home. This thread in supply sweater, really nice. Um, some excessive pilling on that style so I left that behind. Also, this is a Juicy Couture bathing suit. I am sitting on a lot of bathing suits that are unlisted. So I decided to leave this behind, even though I've been really enjoying selling black one-piece bathing suits. This is a really substantial leather Calvin Klein bag. Beautiful hardware, great style, but it was just marked up quite a bit. Um, so I left that behind. I thought this was fun, this little SpongeBob sweatshirt, but I decided to leave it. This Marmot jacket, I was all geared up to take home with me and then I noticed a stain. So that also stayed behind. Kim found this cute chenille hat. I left that behind, but I did end up taking home some cute hats. Oh, did you like this? Oh, this is a little J. Crew top I thought was cute. Oh, cute. Yeah. These little vintage, my first Christmas. I thought they'd be good. Oh, this is the Lafayette one. Oh, those are fun. Yeah. Not a single match. That's too funny. Oh, this LLB we saw as soon as I came in. I thought that was cute. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Reminds me of the one I got when we were. So, yeah. Do you know anyone who would enjoy a mermaid tail? There was some cash in there. Alright, I think that's it. A rotation had just come out. I had just filmed a little IGTV video and I went live is what I did. And as soon as that video ended, they rolled out some new bins. We're getting ready to go to lunch and I walked over to these bins. There was a woman who was there. There was only one woman at this particular bin and she was picking all around these handbags, almost like they were in her way. 
So I walked over. I couldn't see what the brand was, but I just like grabbed and grabbed. They just looked beautiful. Like this is pretty much what I saw. And I grabbed them and I almost fell over when I looked and I saw that they were from Salvatore Ferragamo. Both of these bags, absolutely stunning. You know, 2000 plus retail on each of these is my assumption. I have this listed right now for 675, which I know is high. I did see a comp on this bag for $440. Um, and I think I want to use this bag for a little bit. So I decided to just price it high. It's absolutely gorgeous. The Salvador Ferragamo little logo, it almost looks like a little bit like a horseshoe is, this is called the Gansini. Uh, anyways, this bag is gorgeous camel leather. And then I also got this beautiful patent leather bag. The comps on this one is a little bit lower, but if, if I come in close, you can see some of the detail here. And then this is the front part of it. So it has that logo here again. Uh, these bags are just stunning. I've never found a Sal Salvatore Ferragamo bag before ever. And I was just thrilled. All I've really found are like outdated Salvatore Ferragamo shoes, but I've never found like bags like this. So these were just absolutely insane. The highlight of this trip, but I did find some really other amazing stuff. So let's just jump right in. I found this top, which I think is really pretty. Um, the brand is Sea Salt Cornwall. I've never heard of this before. There's the focus, but it has little daffodils on it, which I thought was really cute. And it looks like the comps on these shirts are somewhere between like $25 and $35 sold comps. Anytime I can find a little graphic that is unique that somebody might be looking for, I like to grab it. So daffodils fell into that category. I thought this was a really fun shirt. Um, I also grabbed this Camelback backpack. I know that these are like the hydration backpacks. Um, this does not have the hydration pouch, which I kind of look at as a positive because people don't want like a used straw, or at least I wouldn't. But this is the pouch that the hydration pack can go in. I'm assuming people can buy those separately. So a lot of these were priced at like $35. I priced mine at $25 considering um, somebody would have to, you know, get the hydration pack to put in and there's a straw that comes out so people can hydrate while they're hiking. So these bags are great. I put this right in my wash um, and it came out really nice. So that's good to go. I picked up these Old Navy jeans and they are the Rockstar jeans. The price tag on them is $35. They are just a pull-on jegging denim. And I have to say, I'm kind of a fan of Old Navy jeans. I don't wear mine as much anymore because they're very, very skinny jeans. And I've been looking just for like a little bit more of a relaxed um, leg lately. Um, I still like skinny. I just don't like skin tight, like jegging skinny. Uh, but these do pretty well on Poshmark. And I know because I looked for them and I was hoping to find, I'm like, oh, they're Old Navy. They'll be like 10 or $12. And no, I mean, to find these in a, a good size and good condition for me would have cost like $20 plus shipping on Poshmark. So I figured just because I had looked for these before, it might be a good pickup. So yeah, the Rockstar Jeggings, these are a six long, new with tag. I thought these were really cute. These are just American Eagle. These are just such an easy thing to photograph and pick up. Uh, they are uh, the newer American Eagle label. They're high rise. They look like a pretty decent size too. They're a size 10. These are probably listed around $30. And I still think in warmer climates, these are still selling even though it's fall. Next up is just this Victoria's Secret sports bra. This is a racer back in a really beautiful coral color. Um, I think I have this listed for around $20, $25. This is a 34D. It's in really gorgeous condition. Definitely padded. Um, you know, probably get somewhere between $18 and $20 for that. A lot of handbags on this particular day. Um, I obviously started out with the real star-studded handbags, but these aren't so bad either. This is a Dooney and & Burke, and it has a really nice handle. The hardware on this bag I thought was really nice. The problem with this bag is the interior has a lot of marks on it. So you can see some of the staining in there. 
there were two Dooney bags that I picked up that I was kind of on the fence about. Um, one because of the interior, which was this one, and then the other one um, smelled of smoke. This also has some, you know, wear to the little tag there. Uh, but for Bin's prices, you know, these can still move. And people who love Dooney and Burke, I believe, would pick these up for a deal and then restore them on their own. If I wanted to put the time into this, I'd probably get, you know, maybe $40 or $50 just because I think this also has like a little Y2K vibe to it, which is pretty big right now. I'm not sure where I will list this at. I haven't run the comps on all of my stuff, so I'm sorry if I don't have that info for you um, right off the bat. This I thought was really cool. These are what appear to be some vintage Barbie outfits. There was also a couple uh, pieces that were separate that I grabbed that were in the same bin, but these were all attached. And when I looked at comps, there was like one outfit similar to this that sold for $29. I don't know what this would sell for. I don't have a lot of Barbie knowledge, but I figure um, this is cool enough. It's a very like boho 70s, really cute outfits. So if you know anything about these, let me know. Um, I'm assuming that I might list those around $30 and see what happens with them, but I'm not sure. I gotta do a little bit more research on that. This I grabbed, uh, the brand is, looks like Fortuna. And it's just a little leather case, which I love. This is great. I don't know if it would fit my laptop. Let me see. Yeah, it absolutely would. I have like a 13 inch MacBook and this would definitely fit this. It would also fit my iPad. And I find that when I'm on the go, I'm always looking for something to put my laptop in, and this is great, because this would just go in a bag. I wouldn't necessarily carry this around, but I'm keeping this, so I was really excited about that. I found a lot of leather products. Here's another one. So I did pick up a few things that need a little TLC. I loved this bag. This is in Isaac Mizrahi. This is not Isaac Mizrahi live or for Target or anything like that. This is just his bag. And the problem with this is this has come undone, but it looks like it would be a really easy job if I drop this off. This is another bag that I'm considering keeping for myself. There were some comps on this bag in the $50, $60 range, but it's in beautiful condition. And it has like the textured little dots in the back. You can see it's leather. What's in here? Oh. I got this little printout. This says, if for girls, this is a little poem. It just looked like a vintage, um, a vintage poem. And the artwork was really nice. It also has a little bit of um, like iridescent sparkle to it. And it says, if for girls, I don't know. I just grabbed this because I thought it was unique. I wanted to check it out and research it a little bit. I have no idea. Sometimes I just pick random stuff up. But anyways, I was talking about this bag. I love this tote bag. It says Isaac Mizrahi, New York, right here. It's a beautiful bag. I would definitely need to drop it off somewhere. You can see here a little bit where the stitching is loose. So I don't know how much cost this would be, but for $1.45 for the bag, even if it costs 10 or $15 to fix, I would really enjoy this tote bag. I mean, with the amount of bags that I've been like getting for myself lately, it's ridiculous. I have no willpower when it comes to a nice handbag. On the same token, here's another bag. This would have been a really great pickup if it were in better condition. This is uh, Longchamp leather with this little bamboo silver toggle here. But you can see there's a fair amount of cracking. There's also um, where the leather has rubbed off here and you can just see all over that the texture is a little off. A lot of these were priced in the $150, $200 range. I priced mine at $60. It has little snaps on the side. I mean, if anybody wanted to still use this, um, I priced it at 60. I would definitely take offers. Even that might be a little bit high. The edges are sticky, um, but if there's anybody who's a big fan of this bag, um, you know, hopefully I'll get somewhere around $30, $35 for that in the end. I got this little Irish knit baby sweater that I just think is so cute. I'm just a sucker for handmade things and this is absolutely like brand new. And I have two friends. Uh, one of my best friend's son is having a baby and then my godchild is pregnant. 
and she's having, they're both having little girls and they're both Irish. So I need to decide who gets this first. I think it's gonna, it may end up going to my godchild because um, her shower is first. So she may get that. There were just so many nice things. Oh, Kim found this a little Penn State hoodie. We are not in Pennsylvania here, so I find a ton of like Boston College and UMass and all that, but I don't find a lot of Penn State stuff out here in Massachusetts. This is a size large. It's definitely staying in the fam. Gonna either bring it out to Penn State when I visit the kids in October or I shall wear it. This is just a little hat. I love picking up hats at the bins. I loved the pattern on this. This is a turtle fur hat. Let me get myself out of there, turtle fur. It has like just a little fleece band around the bottom and it looks like it's probably a wool blend. I just really loved the colors on this. You know, this was probably 25 cents. So I will price it probably 25-ish. What do we have here for a tag? Made in Canada, 100% merino wool. And I washed this also and it came out great in the wash. So yeah, love picking up stuff like that at the bins. This skirt, I just couldn't leave behind. Um, truly for you, made in India. I don't know if this is any brand, never heard of it. I think it's just like a boutique brand, but I loved this skirt. The color I thought was so beautiful. This rust color is just gorgeous. Um, it's like a midi skirt, a little bit past the knee, kind of has like mod cloth vibes to me. It has pockets on the side, some really beautiful pleating. I just thought this was so pretty, especially for the season. Oh, it's a size medium, so we do have a size. I think it's got some tulle underneath. Yeah, it's definitely a little throwback skirt. I'm not sure, I think it's just polyester, but let me double check. Yeah, 100% polyester, so it's not silk or anything, but isn't that cute? You can picture that with like, even like a black ribbed turtleneck, wear it up high on your waist. I think that will really photograph well also. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, I thought this was cute. This is just um, an EMS or REI, EMS, R. This is EMS, extra, extra large. Um, love this little van. That's so cute. It looks like a Volkswagen. This would also look really cute cropped or like tied in a knot on the side. It's really cute. I grabbed this scarf. This is just, I think it's an unbranded scarf. I just really loved the combination of the polka dots and the flower. Um, Echo, it's viscose. I don't know why, but I always like to get a scarf that has a tag on it so I know where it comes from. But I mean, most of my scarves, I think, sell on style because I don't really find high-end scarves. Um, this is beautiful too. This is just such great quality, made in Italy. There's the tag. Do you hear Lucky snoring? I'm just happy that he's not barking. I'm gonna count my blessings that he's not barking. The mail already came, so we shouldn't have issues. This is a really nice herringbone sweater. Um, great for the upcoming season. I'm hoping to get between 30 and $35 for that. I think I did see some pretty decent comps on that. Anything made in Italy that's wool, in really great condition in season. I sold a lot of sweaters over the weekend. I did run a Labor Day buy one, get one free sale um, through my Instagram community. If you're not following me on Instagram, you might want to. I am at Lori's Boston Found on Instagram. So I advertised over there. I did a sale through midnight and I did move a lot of sweaters. Oh my gosh, my husband's getting home right now. I hope the dogs don't hear him. More American Eagle jean shorts. These are the high rise festival jeans. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, love them. Love a good little festival jean short. I mean, for $1.50, even if, even if my American Eagle jean shorts sold for $20 each, that's $40. This entire haul cost 80. So I found some Levi's. These are the curvy straight. I think these are really cute in a size 28. So they have the little distressing, which I like. They're a straight leg, which is, you know, more desirable than skinny these days. And it's got the raw hem. And 28 is a pretty decent size. So these are really good. I'm hoping to get, you know, around that $30 mark for these jeans. Love me some good Levi's. It's always a fair amount of randomness with stuff that I pick up at the bins. This is just like an iPad case. I don't know why I pick these up. 
I really shouldn't. This is unbranded. Oh no, it's not. Maybe that's why I got it. Dingrich? But it's just so hard with iPads because I feel like unless you have it in front of you, you don't know what size it is. So I suppose I could try my iPad in here and see if it fit, but I don't even know if this is ever gonna get listed. I know myself, I can be lazy with stuff like that. This I got for myself, I thought it was really cute. Ellos, oh actually it's a 2X. I thought it was a cover up, maybe it's just a top. There is the tag, if you can see it. So cute. This is just like a catalog company. I thought it was a cover up, but it's actually a top. So I'll probably list it because I love having cute uh, plus size things. Just kind of has that boho flowy look to it. It has some lace in the front. It's really, really pretty. Probably like $15 for that. Okay, more randomness. I picked up these vintage Christmas little bloomers. How cute are these? Would these be considered bloomers? The cool thing is it's cut the plastic lining uh, that, you know, for kids who are like potty training or whatever, but it says my first Christmas on the bum and the tag was still included. Young people's floor. Oh gosh, like it says what floor it was on. Young people's floor, Lord and Taylor, Fifth Avenue. I had to grab these. These probably cost a nickel. I just want you to see the tag. Isn't that so cool? I don't know why these old tags just like, I love them. You just think of how many places this has been, how adorable for like vintage fans. And then you can put like any little dress over it or just wear it with like a onesie underneath. And they're like high rise and they have like this little detail on the side too, so cute. Another hat, this is, looks like a vintage hat. Jonathan Richard of Ireland, Simon Pierce, made in Ireland. You know, these hats are just so amazing. This is seven and one eighth, 100% wool. Do I dare try it on? I just have my hair done. Kind of cute. The wool's nice. It feels a little tight. I think, you know what happened? I probably washed this one too. Um, I like to wash hats, even though it's wool, and then not dry it. This is beautiful. Uh, the brand is just Tari, which is not a brand that I typically pick up. Uh, but this is size medium, pure luxe, 100% cashmere, and I just loved this blue, loved it. It's my mom's size, and my mom loves cashmere, so she's like, even if it has little holes in it, if it's my size, she doesn't mind mending it, but this honestly looks beautiful. So I'm gonna try to list this, probably list it at like $35, 38. I love 38 because then when I send offers for 20% off, it's $30 with discounted shipping. And I love that $30 price point. If I can get $30 on things, I'm happy. Isn't this beautiful? I love this color. I wish that was my size. It's gorgeous. All right, this brand I had never heard of, but I grabbed it. There's never a lacking of wool items at the New Hampshire outlet. Do I have a line on my head? I feel like I have a line from that hat. This is Dimitri, never picked this up before. Made of pure virgin wool, ladies medium. I thought this was really nice. It has this little white um, ribbon on the side and I looked this up. I can't remember what this means, but uh, this was in really great condition. Uh, it's short waisted, definitely a smaller size. Well, it's a light, ladies medium, uh, but it looks like it's never been washed or anything. You know, it doesn't show any pilling for the wool. So I'm curious to see what that will go for. This is an infinity scarf from L.L. Bean. Just really cute colors on this. I love the plum. There's the L.L. Bean tag. I don't know, does anybody wear infinity scarves anymore? I don't, I mean, they're, I don't think they're the most like in, in vogue thing, but I still think they're nice. And I don't know, I do all right with L.L. Bean. And the scarves, it's scarf season, so. Lavender is one of the colors for this season. So anything that, is in the purple family I'm giving a little second glance at because that is a trending color for the fall. Oh, I'm missing a little pile of things. This was a highlight. I found some Align Lululemon leggings. It's always a good day at the bins when you find Align in great condition. These are a size six. They're gray. They're so soft. They are a cropped length. They'd be right around your calf if I had to guess. It's a tiny bit of pilling on the um, inside in between the legs, but Overall, these are in beautiful condition. Whenever there's like an inside pocket, you can always like pop it out to try to see the size. And there you go. There's the six, you see? 
Um, okay, so this is Nina Patrick, another new brand to me. I thought this was nice. I don't pick up a lot of stripes, but this is 100% silk and some Nina Patrick stuff does very well when I looked up the comp. So I have already washed this and I hung it to dry. This is a size small and it's in great condition. Nice little nautical print. Uh, we'll have to see how that does. I've never sold that brand before, so I'm not sure. Shein. Oh my gosh, my friends and I were just talking about this brand and whether or not we pick it up, if we're horrified by it. I feel like Shein, for those of you who don't know, is the epitome of bad fast fashion. Very trendy pieces, very poorly made, and um, as far as I know, the company's pretty trashy. But they have trendy pieces and they're super inexpensive. So many people would say, oh, I would never pick up Shein. And to me, I feel like these things are destined for the landfill. So anytime I can give a piece like this a second life, I will. I don't pick it up to resell, my camera overheated, so I'm back. What was I saying? I think I was saying that anytime that I can give um, Shein a second life, I will go for it. So yeah, oh, I remember. I don't resell this uh, very rarely. I think I've picked it up a couple times earlier in my days, but I grabbed this for Angie. So I love to be able to not see it go to a landfill so soon since their quality isn't great. I don't think Shein stays in people's closets very long. Another random, this is a little Oshkosh bear. Some people really love their Oshkosh bagosh denim overalls and some of the pieces are vintage and collectible. I grabbed this little teddy, he still had his tag. Um, I believe this is vintage. Um, some of the prices on this are like $10. Some of them have sold upwards of 30. I would probably list him on or her on eBay for about $20, $22 and just see what I get for that. Another random, tell me, if does anybody have any experience with these? I feel like I need to reach out to my friend Brittany. Brittany, are you watching? Shop Foxborough. <laughs> um, this made me think of her. I'm like, I wonder if Brittany would pick this up. This is like a little sampler and it's beautiful. I just loved the colors on this. So it's just the alphabet at the top, but it has all the beautiful colors of fall and it was gorgeous. And it had somebody's name, Marjorie. 1979 from what I can see here, which of course made it seem more special. Does anybody have any experience selling these? Let me know. This seems like a perfect thing for Etsy and how light was this? This was probably another 25 cent thing. Um, so I grabbed that. Oh, this was when we went back for the second time. So we had like our general thrifting then I got the Salvatore Ferragamo bags and almost passed out. Then we went and got lunch, came back, and within seconds, Kim found this Patagonia jacket. I'm like, well, that made it worth our while to come back just to get the Patagonia. So I love this like oatmeal color. It's just a quarter zip, better sweater. It's got the zip on the side, and it is a women's size medium. Patagonia has been like a little quiet for me. I don't think it's, it is what it was like two years ago where it was such gold to find Patagonia. I still really like this and it still moves. There's some pilling over here, um, but certainly from the bins, super excited. I feel like right now they mark Patagonia up a lot at Goodwills and such. So it hasn't, it's been a little bit more of a struggle and they're not selling for what they used to. I have picked this up before. This is Stars Above and I believe this is just Target. Um, let me get I don't know if you can see the tag here. Um, anyways, I loved this pattern. It's just a nightgown. And I've sold Target stuff before. I love to sell pajamas. And I just thought that this pattern was so beautiful. The colors were beautiful. The condition was great. So even though it's just a pretty modest brand, it's an extra small. I'm still, I will probably still list this for about $18. But then in the very next bin was the robe that matched and it had the belt. I was like, oh, this is meant to be. I did wash this though, and now it's pretty crinkly, um, but this is in really beautiful shape. This is also a small or an extra small. If I, yeah, it's an extra small, small, um, but it's the matching robe, so really adorable. I will put these in different listings, just in case somebody wants one and not the other. It would probably come down like above your calf. Um, it's not quite long, but I wouldn't call this necessarily short. It's like a midi robe. So pretty, love this little combo here. These colors were gorgeous. 
Um, I grabbed this, it's just J. Crew. I don't know how this is gonna do, but uh, it's like a little graphic. And I loved that it was boxy and it was a large New York State Love Division, 1967, random, we'll see. I don't know, maybe $15 for that. It was in pretty good shape and it was a large, so I was happy about that. Oh, and I grabbed this too. I got one of these um, when I went to the main bins. I picked it up in like a like a purple color for women, like a more like a mauve. This is an L.L. Bean Better Sweater equivalent. I just showed you a Patagonia. Now this is L.L. Bean, um, and it's really nice. This is a guy's. I wonder if Rocco would wear this. It's a large. I'm going to offer it to Rocco before I list it. He's not a big jacket guy, and I feel like um, this would work for him. Rocco's my youngest, if you're new here. Ella Bean is uh, headquartered in Maine, in Freeport, Maine, so there's always a lot of selection of this there. So I've kind of learned to embrace L.L. Bean and certain pieces I've learned will sell well for me. I have a couple more things that I need to grab, so I'll be right back. All right, this is the trouble when hauls go over too much time for me. Everything gets spread out. This is a Lululemon jacket I got. I think this is the Define jacket. It's like a periwinkle blue, really nice. I also believe this is a size six, like the leggings, and they were, in the same bin, which is awesome. I spent a lot of time in that bin after I found two Lululemon pieces, but these were the only two things that I found. This is in beautiful condition. Um, there's a little, little, little Lulu tag. I don't know if it's gonna show up there. Uh, yeah, so two Lululemon pieces, some Patagonia. It was a good trip. It was so nice to just be able to stay in between. Um, this is a cute little straw bag. I just picked this up for style. We are heading out of summer, but it's very lightweight. It just has a zipper. I'm sure it's not anything like super great quality um, because it's just pretty sheer on the inside. But yeah, it's like brand new. And I thought it was so adorable. I love this bag myself. Um, so I think that'll be really cute. Photographed as well, you know, maybe $20 for that. I grabbed this True Religion shirt. I'm not big on this brand, but the shirt was in really excellent condition. And I will say they do make really nice quality pieces and they have the pearl snap buttons. It's a men's extra large. It's like new, it's like new, really great condition. Western style. I don't know, sometimes true religion will surprise you. Some of their comps can be really good. So I'm, I'm actually, I haven't looked, I'm guessing. I'll get somewhere around $30, my, my favorite price. I picked this up because it's Halloween. And what do what does anybody think of when they see this jacket? If you're an 80s child and you like Michael Jackson, this is like the ultimate thriller jacket. So I thought this would be really fun for the season. And it is Anne Klein and it is red leather medium. Uh, why not, right? It's at the bins and it's leather can't go wrong. So I don't know, maybe somewhere between 30 and 50 for this, I think. It's great. It's in excellent, excellent condition. If anybody wants to be Michael Jackson Thriller for Halloween, you hit me up. I grabbed these PJs, which had some pretty great comps. I've never picked up this brand before. A lot of new brands, once again. Komar, K-O-M-A-R. And what got me was that it was made in the USA. Always always a good sign with vintage and it was in really great condition. It's just kind of like a little house coat gown style. Some of these in patterns, which weren't even this nice, were selling around $40. So, you know, some, you also get your 10, $12 ones, but I think I'm probably gonna start this at 40 or 45 and hopefully it will sell in the $30 range somewhere, 30 to $35, really great condition. It is, I don't know about the size, it looks like a pretty generous cut, maybe like a medium large, super lightweight. I grabbed these. I thought these were super cute. I didn't find many shoes on this day, but these are Clark's. I love all this little detail here. There's actually tissue paper on the inside. So I don't want to, I mean, obviously I can't call these new, but I almost wonder if they are, I mean, if you look at the bottom, they are new, um, but they're, at, at the very least in excellent condition. Um, they still have the tags on them. They are Clark's, I believe they are size eight. And I do have these listed already. I can't remember the name of this style, but I thought these were really cute. And right next to those were these J. Jill 
leather ankle booties. These show a little bit more wear. Um, I only brought one of each up to show you, um, but in, I think it's the other one. It's just right around the ankle here. It looks like there was a little bit of, you know, maybe some reshaping that needs to be done. But these are J Jill. You can see right there. Here's the sole. These are not in bad shape either. These are size eight and I just love them. Very classic. I think super cute. Both size eight, probably potentially from the same person. I want to take you upstairs to show you um, the comforter that I picked up in case you missed. I also posted about this comforter in my story. It's this amazing Star Wars comforter uh, that my son has now, but I'm going to bring you upstairs to show you that. Okay, here we are in Rocco's room. <laughs> I thought his bed, you know, might actually show the comforter, but it's it's a mess. So let me make the bed real quick and then I'll show you that. Okay, way. I didn't make it make it because I just really wanted to show you this comforter. But how amazing is this? I had like three or four people swipe up on my story and just say how much I want to buy it. And it's so soft. It's not just like super cool. It's actually really soft and comfy. So I'm not ready to sell it, but if you wanted to do a more subtle look, it has um, this side and, you know, it just says Star Wars. So this is like for the subtle fan on this side, or it's really cool because you could like have it on the subtle side and then fold it and then have all the pattern when you fold it over at the top. Anyways, such a cute, cute comforter. I keep finding things all around my house, literally between Amazon and Poshmark and all the thrifting I've been doing lately. My house is a mess, but I got this little Vans bag and I knew I had more stuff. Okay, now this will complete the haul. I got this really cute scarf. I loved this scarf. So it's a black scarf and it has kind of like a granny Afghan little trim. I thought this was just adorable. I just love it. I love the boldness of the Afghan piece, the floral part. It's in really excellent condition. It is unbranded. So cute. Oh, <laughs> I laughed about this in my video too. This is a Faded Glory rib tank. I sleep in these every night and I loved this color. It's big. Uh, these are sold at Walmart. They're my all-time favorite tank tops. You heard it here first. <laughs> I got this little bag. It's a little camera bag. How cute is this? I'm just grabbing my phone because it is the perfect size for my phone. And this is going to be my new bins bag. I've been wearing my coach crossbody and it's just too heavy. This just says made in China and it doesn't say that it's real leather. I am just like 99.9% .9 sure that it is. And it is just all I need for the bins. Like I can put this in here. I can also fit some hand sanitizer in this bag. I can put my credit cards in here and maybe like a granola bar or a snack. I'm obsessed with this tiny little bag. Again, with the bags. How many bags does one girl need when all I do is go thrifting and come home? You would think I have a much more exciting life than I have with the amount of bags that I purchase these days. You watch, I just bought, I have my Louis Vuitton bag and I just bought that Antigona bag. That was my last video. And I'll probably end up wearing this tiny little $1.50 bag from the bins more than anything because it's just so damn practical. Love it. My friend Annie, who we lost back in April, um, we just brought her mom out to breakfast, my girlfriend Kim and I, and she was like a little unbalanced on her feet and she had this heavy bag with her and we said, Regina, you need to wear smaller bags. So I said, I have just a bag for you. I'm gonna bring this to her. It's super lightweight so she can um, carry this around with her and we don't have to worry about her on steps. That's going to Regina. This is a little coach bag. Um, I'm not sure about this. This little insignia right here where it says coach right here makes me feel like it's real. However, there's no creed on the inside, just creedless, which usually that's the marker that I look for. And it says made in China, but it also says coach on the inside of this, which I don't, which I don't necessarily think a fake would do. Can you see it? It's having, it's having a hard time focusing. So the stitching looks good. Um, I don't know, any coach experts out there? Really cute, like I loved a little pink trim. There were so many handbags that day. Gotta love when the dry cleaner tag is there. Makes you think that it was probably well loved. I'm so glad I found this because I really wanted to share it on this haul. Um, look at the buttons. 
The buttons are really beautiful. It's got like this little rose pattern. It's in really beautiful shape. I'll probably start that around $48 or $50. It's a beautiful wool sweater. I also grabbed this vintage leather hat that I really spent a lot of time on cleaning, even though it looks a little dirty on the inside still. It's pretty amazing. Genuine leather, has this little Western vibe. And this is going to the real real, but it's so beautiful. It is a cropped Lafayette 148. I might look up the comps and see if it's worth selling on my own, but typically um, this is a brand I send to the real real. Beautiful. And lastly, this Christopher Banks rib tan poncho was new with tags and it sold for $35 during my buy one get one free sale. It sold with these Eastland boots that came in a thread up box that I purchased about a year ago. So that was a great flip. I was happy to see both of those sell. Okay, now that is really it for the haul. It was an incredible day at the bins. The Salvatore Ferragamo bags were just like the icing on the cake to a really good day. It's always fun to shop with friends. Kim always finds me some great pieces. It was so wonderful to be able to stay at the bins and not leave and just take my time. I really weeded out a lot of things um, as I was shopping and able to go through my cart. I want to go back to the bins again and I want to do a challenge where I challenge myself to get like 15 items or less or 10 items or less because I always come home with so many random things and they really do pay off sometimes. The random things that you're just curious about that you want to explore, they can really help educate you as a reseller. They can maybe get you into new categories that you're not comfortable with or you don't want to spend up in a certain category because you're not familiar. Like who knows what this is? This could be worth 10 cents. It could be worth a hundred bucks. It's probably not, but you know what I mean? It's fun to explore when the price is so inexpensive. Um, but on the same token, I've been shopping so much lately that I need to tone it down. So the next time I go to the bins, I'm gonna give myself a limit. Comment below if you wanna give me a bins challenge. I would love something creative to do the next time I go. All right, everybody, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more from me and feel free to share this video with a friend. Um, you know I appreciate you so much and welcome if you're new to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I'll be back soon with a new video. Thanks guys so much, I love you and I'll be back soon.